Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Trump just proved his commitment to the American people by doing something no president had done before. Everyone knows President Trump has a lot of money he's built a real estate empire worth billions of dollars. But a lot of people might be surprised by his generosity and kindness, which were on display for the world to see during the double tragedies of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. In the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey, President Trump pledged $1 million of his own personal money to charities for the relief effort. As a report from The Hill now confirms, President Trump has already distributed the money. Many of the charities released statements about their gratitude and the huge impacts the funds would have on their operations, here are a couple of the statements. Reach Out America said. It was a landmark day for Reach at America when President Donald and First Lady Melania Trump visited First Church of Pearland, Texas. The President and First Lady were there to encourage Hurricane Harvey survivors and then passed out relief supplies. Larry Williamson, founder of Reach at America received a generous donation of $100,000 from President Trump for ROA. The Red Cross said they were, grateful to the Trumps for their generous support of our mission. How awesome is our president? Many of our presidents were extremely wealthy, and none of them have done anything like this. It shows how much President Trump really cares, and how invested he is in strengthening our nation. The media is never going to report on this though so share it out one million times, patriots. H.T. The Hill Trump just knocked out Hillary with golf club in this video that's going viral. Donald Trump clearly doesn't care about what the media has to say about his tweets. Earlier this morning, Trump retweeted a meme that shows the power of his golf swing, and its ability to take down Hillary Clinton. That tweet caused a full-scale meltdown at CNN, and his latest is sure to do it again. They'll call it sexist, violent and beneath the dignity of the president. Conventional wisdom says Trump should avoid the backlash, but the president proved in the past that he can make the media look crazy by baiting them with tweets. While they rage for days, regular Americans will accept that the president was simply making a joke. It actually makes him look better in comparison. Share if you believe Trump is free to make jokes without media backlash. But don't tell the media. Let them look insane. by Bernie Trump just stripped Sanders like no one has before. Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders is a known crazy man and leftist icon who for some reason evades serious public criticism. Until now. Sanders has introduced his wacko Medicare for All health care plan in the Senate on Wednesday. The bill already has 16 Democratic co-sponsors more than ever before, which shows you just how far to the left the Democrats have been going. Sanders' bill would get rid of all private health care in America and replace it with Medicare. Given the state of Medicare in this country, I don't know who would want to force everyone to have it. But that's Bernie Sanders for ya, folks. President Trump desperately wants to repeal and replace Obamacare, but he's not going to accept the super expensive, super unrealistic Medicare for all idea that Bernie Sanders has in mind. Senator John Barrasso, R.Y., just asked the Congressional Budget Office to score Sanders' plan, citing a 2016 study from the left-leaning Urban Institute that estimated Medicare for All would cost a cool $32 trillion over 10 years. Barr also added that he was deeply concerned that Senator Sanders' Medicare for All legislation is not only a government takeover of health care, but would also put financial burdens on the American people that they cannot sustain. I for one am really looking forward to seeing the CBO destroy Sanders' plan, and it's great to have a president that backs it up. Did you support President Trump's opposition to Bernie Sanders? Share it out.
Mueller's latest hire for Trump investigation proves the worst fears. Special Counsel Robert Mueller has been frequently criticized for stacking his legal team with Democrat donors and allies in his investigation into President Trump's ties to Russia. That's not going to stop him from doing it, though. Mueller just added Kyle Freeney as the 16th person on his team. Freeney has an interesting resume like others on Mueller's team, she's donated to Democrats in the past three presidential elections. But then it gets really interesting. She was working as a lawyer for the Obama administration defending Obama's executive order on immigration in 2014. Twenty-six states contested the order in the lawsuit. U.S. District Judge Andrew Hayden became infuriated with Freeney and her colleagues during the hearings, however, when he realized they had purposefully misled the court. They implied that Obama's orders had not yet taken effect, when in fact one of them had. Hayden excoriated Freeney and her team, saying they were committing misconduct that was intentional, serious and material. He continued. In fact, it is hard to imagine a more serious, more calculated plan of unethical conduct. So not only is Freeney an Obama donor, she's also been a part of a legal team that, according to a U.S. district judge, was grossly unethical. Mueller sure knows how to pick him. Do you think Mueller's stacking the deck against President Trump? Share out your support, patriots. H.T. Fox News Bill Maher's latest attack against Trump is sick, but what he said about God is even worse. Most people thank God when a natural disaster spares personal property but not Bill Maher. He's mad that more property wasn't destroyed. Before Hurricane Irma tore through Florida, Maher gleefully noted that Trump had several properties in its path. Now that the hurricane has passed and the damage has been assessed, Maher isn't pleased with the result. But here's the most amazing thing of all, Maher told his all items on Friday, amid all the destruction in the path of that hurricane, neither mar lago nor Trump's estate in St. Martin's nor any of his golf courses in the path got damaged at all. They all escaped almost completely unscathed, which just goes to show something I have always believed, there is no God. Seriously, Bill? You're going to bring God into this? It's almost as if Mar trying to enrage middle America. If that's his goal, it's working. Insulting Trump is expected, but insulting God is needless and desperate. Share if you think Mar has finally gone too far. Politics is one thing, but attacking religion for no reason is beyond the pale. Sarah Sanders just went on a Nava grant that'll have Dems panicking. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is shutting down the left once again this time with some cold hard facts on DACA. Earlier this week, Donald Trump announced a conditional agreement with Democratic leadership to reinstate DACA. Conservatives were shocked, but the left celebrated what they thought was a big win. But not so fast, Democrats. Sarah Huckabee Sanders has some inconvenient truths that might kill the left's vibe. During a press briefing on Friday, Sanders said that the deal must include an end to sanctuary cities expedited removal, more immigration judges, supporting things like the RAISE Act along with the previously reported increase in border security and interior enforcement. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi already claim to be on board with several of these positions, indicating that a big win might be in store for Trump. The left are just too blinded by docket to see it. Share so that everyone understands what Trump is getting in return for DACA. The truth needs to control the narrative, not the leftist press. Destroyed. Nikki Haley issues North Korea brutal threat that'll have them terrified. Nikki Haley is not someone you want to mess around fault with. Donald Trump has issued some dire warnings to Kim Jong-un. But Haley just gave the totalitarian leader his most terrifying threat yet. On CNN's State of the Union, Haley was asked about Trump's previous promise to bring fire and fury to North Korea. 
you'd have to ask the president what fire and fury meant, Haley began, but we all know that basically, if North Korea keeps on with this reckless behavior, if the United States had to defend itself or defend its allies in any way, North Korea will be destroyed. Fire and fury was dramatic, but it was also vague. By promising that North Korea will be destroyed, Haley is being explicit. The United States is not interested in playing games with Kim Jong-un. If Trump decides to move forward with a military option, North Korea will be obliterated. Share if you support Haley's threat against the totalitarian nation. Show Kim Jong-un America cannot be played any longer. Watch this Antifa chick get rowdy at Trump rally, what happens next is insane. Lacey McCauley is a well-known radical left-wing Antifa organizer in Washington, D.C. She was featured in Project Veritas undercover videos that opened up the hashtag Disrupt20 plot to violently disrupt Trump's inauguration. McCauley crashed the pro-Trump rally in Washington, D.C. on Saturday and was taken out by police. You may remember Lacey McCauley. She is the Antifa chick. She is obsessed with helping Syrian refugees and detailed her experience dating a Turkish Muslim man who beat her and controlled every move she made. Trump people trolled her as she was kicked out and shouted go home commie and even brought up her Turkish ex-boyfriend. That's gonna hurt. Share this everywhere if you are tired of Antifa people. They are a terrorist organization and need to go.